Welcome back to another Elm Lab tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about automating parameters inside of contact in your DAW. Now that might seem like a pretty elementary lesson, but uh, before you click pause or next on this video, we'll, we'll just explain ourselves really quickly. This is actually a fairly frequently requested uh, lesson, um, especially in one-on-one in -on -one tutorials where people are uh, a, a bit more um, uh, apt to share questions or ask questions uh, that they're, uh, I guess, embarrassed or afraid, or, or afraid to ask in front of other people. Uh, but this is actually a legitimate uh, question. So let's take a look at why and uh, how to do it. So we'll just go ahead and start by loading up an instance of contact really quick. Um, and you know the the default view that you you get here is using the fully licensed um, libraries that you've you've purchased and installed um, and that's all well and good we're actually going to take a look at a third party instrument of some kind uh, just because oftentimes there will already be automation assignments made in these like more official instruments uh, so we'll show you how to do this all from scratch, just so there are no questions at the end of this tutorial. So go ahead and click on Files. This is um, going to remember where you last were um, in your hard drive browsing for your for your samples. Um, and it looks like last time I was in here, I was using a tone hammer instrument. Let's just go ahead and load the first one that we see. Um, and of these tabs you'll notice that on the far right up here at the top is this one called auto. Now if we click on that, this is short for automation, this is going to bring up our automation assignments. Now as you can see there are many uh, that you can use. It goes all the way down to 511. That's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Most instruments won't have that many parameters uh, by default. So, uh, But you can see that there are no um, automation assignments made yet with this instrument. So um, what we're going to do before we actually start on setting up the assignments is take a look at automation in general in your DAW. Now the interface is going to vary from DAW to DAW. This is Logic Pro. You can use any DAW to do this. This is not specific to this platform at all. Um, the interface is going to be a little bit different and, and some small features might be different from DAW to DAW but the capabilities are the same. Uh, now to access uh, your contact um, automation assignments, you're going to go up to your, your, your contact uh, drop-down menu. But the problem is, is it's just all of these numbers, right? It's exactly what we just saw in the automation tab inside of contact. Well, Logic also now offers these customizable macro controls, and there are eight of them in total, and there's always this separate little menu here. So it gives you very quick access. You don't have to scroll through a bunch, and we'll show you how to set those up uh, to where they show up on these smart controls, okay? Uh, and you can access those smart controls. Uh, you just double click on the icon of your instrument and, and there you go. Here's these eight knobs. Of course, there's nothing assigned to them right now. So we'll just kind of deal with that as it, as it comes up. So uh, let's jump back into contact. And uh, the very first thing we need to do is look at the back side of contact here where we, co we customize the instrument. And here's the instrument insert effects panel. Okay, and we'll go ahead and we'll add something simple here like a filter. And let's do a low pass, that's very common. Let's do a, a low pull four. Uh, so we have a couple of parameters that we can tweak. And it's as simple as grabbing this, uh, any of these, it doesn't have to be the first one. We're going to use the first one. The first eight are going to show up in your macro controls, in those smart controls. Uh, so that's why we're going to start with this top one. So we'll take zero and we simply drag and drop. You can see there's like a little floating white frame there on my mouse head. So we're going to drop that, not on the instrument uh, insert effect itself, because obviously there are multiple parameters involved here. Uh, we're going to drop it on the on the, the singular parameter that we want to control uh, with this automation assignment. And you can see as soon as I hover over an available destination, uh, like this cutoff knob, there's this plus sign there. So we're just going to go ahead and drop it on that knob, and it's been instantly assigned. And if we go back to our DAW, you're going to see that right here, 
it's already been made into a, a smart control or a macro control and if we pull up our automation menu we'll see that it's right here now it's the first one of those first eight so it's going to be in the first position so if you want to add something to one of these smart control uh, slots you want to make sure that you're using the correct uh, number assignment and it's pretty easy one through eight pretty easy to remember so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, start using uh, this cutoff assignment oh, I guess we should probably put in a note here really quick or something so we have something to listen to at least huh we'll just do that very quickly okay so uh, we are now going to automate this curve we'll just start there and go almost all the way to the end and we'll just open it up fully and see what this sounds like. Okay, so uh, that was our first automation assignment. Uh, let's add one more just so we go through the process a couple of times. We're going to grab the second available spot here. This is 001. And we're going to drop it on the resonance knob and now all of a sudden that's set up so we can go back to our DAW and we'll just use the second option in this menu. There's our resonance. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just add a couple of little spots um, and play this back. Open up contact and you can see the automation in real time. So it is actually working. It's turning those knobs for you. And that's it. That is the entire process of setting up custom automation assignments in contact. Um, it's not information that's easily found uh, by a lot of people that go looking, um, oddly enough, <laughs> uh, especially since this is probably the most widely used sampler in the world now. Uh, but there you have it. That's how you do it. Uh, we hope that it helps and uh, hopefully you can use this in your very next uh, project you're working on. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you again soon. Cheers.